Hey everybody, in this video, I just wanted to take the time to uh, break down and deconstruct how the betting works in your VG Pecunia back office. So first of all, the question comes, where do I see my bets? So when you're logged into your VGP back office and you're on the home page, when you scroll to the bottom, you'll see your last 10 bets. So in this picture, you can see two, and then if this individual kept scrolling, he'd see eight more. Now, if you wanted to see your full comprehensive history, you could do that as well in the report section of your back office. So now we're gonna talk about the different kinds of bets. So what is an open bet? So an open bet's interesting because it's actually a bet that it's currently ongoing, meaning that game is actually happening. And you can tell from the ticker in the right corner. So if it's is live, that means that game is currently live and it's happening right now. So as a result, that makes you want to follow that game, but it also means that the result of that game is to be determined. It's, it hasn't been determined yet. Uh, the game is going on. It could be in the first half, it could be in the second half. So that actually adds an element of excitement as well, because uh, if you're an avid football fan like I am, you may actually want to tune into this game. For example, in the first one, Borussia Mönchengladbach versus Union Berlin, I'm hoping that the first half has more than one goal. So now I'm kind of invested, right? Like I'm, I'm trying to see like a very, you know, free-flowing action-packed game. So it adds that element to it. And like I said, for people who are really into football, that that's something that they may be interested in. And even if you're not a big football fan, like you might now all of a sudden want to start looking at those results. So it adds that element of excitement. Now we're going to talk about the types of bets, right? So, uh, sorry. Oh, sorry. So we're going to talk about the types of bets and then we have pending bets. So when we have pending bets, that actually means that the game is just finished, but the result has not yet been recorded into the back office. So the result, if you, if you look it up, you'll probably find the result or actually it's written down here, you know, Everton versus Aston Villa, the score is there, but the payout has not yet been done. The payout has not been calculated and the result has not been recorded, whether it be a win, draw or loss. And then we have closed bets and closed bets are essentially bets that have just been finished, they've completed and the payout has already been recorded. So it's important to remember that the win amount is actually not the receivable amount. The win amount, you re the receivable amount is half of the win amount. Now we're gonna talk about the terminology. For most of these bets, there's two things you need to keep in mind. There's 1H and FT. So 1H stands for first half. So that means those are bets that are only applicable to the first half. We're only concerned with the first half results. And then there's FT bets, which are full-time bets. So and for those bets, we're only concerned with the full-time score. For example, in this first one, Crystal Palace versus West Ham United. Let's read this bet. 1H over one, bracket zero, zero at 1.04. So if that doesn't make sense, let me break it down. 1H stands for first half. We're hoping that there'll be over one goal in the first half and the, the bet was placed at zero, zero. The odds for this bet are 1.04, meaning if the followed amount is 3,000 and this bet is one, the total win amount is 3,120. So in this bet, we're hoping that there is over one goal. Now, if we look at the first half, there was three goals. Now for the second one, Watford versus Norwich City. Full-time over 2.75. Bet is placed when the score is 2-0 to Norwich and the odds are 0 0.82. So we're hoping that the total score is over 2.75. Now, if we look at the full-time score, there was three goals at the end of the match. So then that means that was also a winning bet. We'd also deal with over and unders in betting. So for this example here, Liverpool versus Brentford, 1H over 0 0.75. So we're hoping we get over 0 0.75 goals. Whereas for the second example, LJ versus Real Madrid, we're hoping we go under one goal. And it's important to remember that both of these bets were 1H, meaning we were only concerned with the first half. We also have exact score betting, which means that the actual final score of the game is predicted. Now, these bets are a lot harder to win because obviously you have to predict the exact score. 
In this case, the exact score would have to have been Espanol one, Real Betis four. And it's even harder if you look at it because this bet was placed at zero, zero. So that means that this person predicted there'd be five goals in this game in this exact setup. So as you can see by the odds, this is a much harder bet to win. The dates are also posted right above the odds. So you can, you can see when the date, the date of the game and when it was played. And as a result, it gives you an idea of like when your bets were completed for that particular week. It's also important to remember that some bets are broken up. For example, if you have a $10,000 account, you are betting 10, uh, sorry, $1,000 per week. And that $1,000 can be broken up into, for example, two bets of 500, four bets of 250, five bets of 200. So you could have five different bets in your back office. Like for example, this for January 21st, there's five bets in this person's back office. That's because all the different amounts equal to the amount that 10% that that person is betting with per week. Now we're going to talk about odds because in football, we have to remember that goals are scored in whole amounts, of course, right? So we can have one goal, two goals. We can't have half a goal. We can have 0.75 of a goal. So as a result in football, we have something called a differential calculator. And essentially to win a bet in full, we need to have over 0.5 of a differential. So if that's confusing, I'm gonna break it down. Let's read this bet together. One half over 0.75. This bet was placed at 00, zero and the odds are 0 0.81. So like I've said before, we're only concerned with the first half. We want over 0 0.75 goals. Now, the first half score was 1-1, one, one, which means that the total goal score in the first half was 2. Since we want over 0, .0 sorry, since we want over 0 0.75, we're going to take 2, which is the total goal scored in the first half, and subtract 0 0.75. Since our, um, our, our result is 1.25, and that is above 0 0.5, equal to or greater than 0 0.5, this bet is paid in full. It's a full win. Let's go over this example. Full time over 3.75, bet is placed at 2.1 at 0 0.84. Now, if I haven't said this before, I wanna mention that the score when the bet is placed is still included. Meaning if the full time score is 4.1, or sorry, 4.2, we still include like the 2.1 still is part of that bet. So. The full time score was 4 2, which is six goals, right? So we count all six goals. We take six, subtract it from the odd, which is 3.75. We get 2.25. Since, since it is over 0 0.5, that is another full winning bet. Now, this example is a little different Liverpool versus Brentford. One half over 0 0.75, placed at nil nil at 0 0.82. Now, the first half had one goal, but when you do the odd calculator, you only get 0 0.25. As a result, the differential is not 0 0.5 or greater, so this bet is paid in half. It's considered a half win. So it's important to remember that. So if this was $100 on 0 0.82 odds, the win amount is 41, and then the back office would give you half of that. So it's important to remember that this is a half bet. Okay, so for winning bets, you need to have a differential of 0 0.5 greater. So let's briefly review what we've gone over. Live positions and open bets can be seen in the back office. You'll be able to see it and it's designated by this follow and live button in the right corner. The track record is displayed in your report section of the back office. All bets contribute to the insurance pool, whether it be adding to the insurance pool or taking from the insurance pool. And then there's transparency and bets that show us exactly what's going on. You'll see the names of all the games. You'll know who played who. You'll know what the score was. All of that is transparent and it's seen in your back office. So for example, if Arsenal is playing Burnley and that that's part of your back office betting, you'll see that. You'll see that, you know, even when there's a loss, you'll see why you lost because you know, if it's what first half over five goals and there was only two goals, then that's a losing bet. And it'll show you that. 
So everything is there for you to see in the back office. So that's pretty much it. That's how you read and deconstruct the bets. I hope this video helped. Now, if you have any questions, then please send them to customer service at vgpecunia.com or you can enter the support section in your back office and write your questions there. So I hope this video helped and we'll see you next time.